All right, thanks, Jasmine. Well, you won't be able to head back to South Bay beaches this morning. The U.S. Coast Guard says it needs more time to clean up tar blobs that washed ashore. CBS 2's Louisa Hodge is live from Hermosa Beach with details of the cleanup. And Louisa, how's it going? Powerful earthquake struck Alaska overnight. It hit at midnight in Aleutian Island. The quake measured a magnitude 6.7. Few people live in the area. Now it hit about 400 miles southwest of Alaska's biggest city, Anchorage. No tsunami warnings were issued. Also happening today, former rap mogul Suge Knight is due in court for two hearings. The first hearing is for a robbery case. He and comedian Cat Williams are accused of stealing a photographer's camera. He is also expected to appear for a motion to dismiss the murder case against him. Knight was supposed to be in court on Wednesday, but he would not leave his cell. If that happens again today, the judge will order him to be removed. A large area. You're getting us around. Busy morning. Thank you, Amber. We're getting a new glimpse into the lives of sharks. Yesterday, a team from Cal State Long Beach downloaded data from six tagged baby great white sharks. The sh All right. Thank you, Jasmine. Well, you won't be able to head back to South Bay beaches this morning. The U.S. Coast Guard says more tar blobs seem to need to be cleaned up. CBS 2's Louisa Hodge live from Hermosa Beach with details of the cleanup. And Louisa, you've been telling us they have been working nonstop. Well, police are searching for three suspects and a getaway driver in a violent takeover style bank robbery in Mar Vista. Well, some U2 fans enjoyed an intimate concert at the Roxy Theater in West Hollywood last night. All right, Ciclavia is coming to Pasadena. On Sunday, hundreds of people will park their vehicles and bike, walk, or even jog around some of the most popular places in the city. So. It is 6.37 and coming up on CBS 2 News this morning, there is a new trend amongst millennials when it comes to underwear. And a husband and wife achieved... 6.40 right now, who knew there's a new line of underwear that is becoming really popular for young women. And the market's just opened on some disappointing economic data. CBS 2's Jill Wag. Well, after two years of delays and controversy, New York's skyline is once again complete. The observatory on top of One World Trade opens this morning. CBS 2's Don Champion. Well, South Bay beaches are still closed right now because of those tar blobs that washed ashore, but we could find out soon when it... A warning for UCLA students, there has been a string of sexual battery cases. Now, this is the man police believe is... Welcome back this morning. A milestone in Manhattan nearly 14 years after the September 11th attacks. The One World Trade Center Observatory is finally open. Yeah, visitors can now enjoy incredible views 100 stories above New York. CBS 2's Wendy Gillette was there for the opening.